said that there'd be light. You put the stars in the sky, and it was good in your sight. You put the fish in the sea, and you created me to the focus of your love. Because of your love. Because of your love. We. everyone, it's so great to be with you once again today. I hope that last week you had a wonderful time celebrating Easter with your family. And that amidst all the egg hunts and the fun dying Easter eggs and eating the yummy candy and food, that you got to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Because as we talked about last week, after all, that's what Easter is all about. 
And today we're in our last lesson in this series. And this week we're going to learn about the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was sent to us by God to give us the power to go and tell other people about him. Hmm, I'm thinking about that word power. I have a question for you. If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Talk about it right now with your family. Those sound like some amazing superpowers. I think it would be so cool to be like the Incredible Hulk and be super strong and be able to smash through things. And I bet you had some great ideas too. Before we go further though, let's go back to our memory verse. And if you remember, our memory verse is from 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 through 4. And I am thinking that you probably don't even need the Bible verse up on the screen because I know that so many of you have this memorized by now, which is great. So we'll put it up on our screen and let's read it together. Christ died for our sins, just as the scriptures said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures said. All right, so now it's time to stand up and to sing our memory verse. Go for it. This song is 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. Let's start by swaying side to side. Now, you guys, this song is all about the story of what Jesus did for us. So as we're singing, I want you to think about how Jesus did this all for you. Let's sing together. Christ died for our sins. Sing just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures, just as the scripture says, he was buried, he was raised from the dead on the third day. Just as the scriptures, just as the scriptures say. Let's sing that again. Christ died for our sins. Christ died for our sins. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scriptures. Just as the scripture says. He was buried. He was raised. Just as the scriptures, just as the scriptures, just as the scripture says, he was buried, he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures, just as the scripture says. Great job, guys. You always do such a wonderful job singing our praises to God through song and dance. So it's about time to watch our stories from the Bible, but I wanted to review a little bit with you what we talked about a few weeks ago. So leading up to Easter, we talked about Palm Sunday. If you remember, that was when Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey and everyone was singing praises to him. Then we learned about the Last Supper, and that was the last meal Jesus had with his disciples. If you remember, that's where he gave them the bread and the wine. And then we talked about Jesus' crucifixion was when he was on the cross, and finally that all led up to the great day of Jesus' resurrection. When he was dead for three days, but if you remember, they went to the tomb, and he was not there because he had risen. So after Jesus was crucified and he rose from the dead. He spent some time with his disciples and he spent some time again teaching and comforting them. But he also 
left them with something extremely special. He left them with a special helper, and that's the Holy Spirit. And that's what our story is going to be about today. So let's go ahead and watch that now. Stories of the Bible. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey, -o. Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? Hey, yo! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. So even after Jesus died on the cross, then he was risen from the dead, he went back and he showed his disciples that he had truly risen from the dead. And during that time, he spent time comforting them and teaching them and showing them how to go out and tell others about him. And guess what? Even though Jesus has ascended back into heaven, as you saw in the story, he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So through the Holy Spirit, we can get that same guidance and comforting when we have difficult decisions to make. So let's check in with uh, Scott the magician right now. I bet he has some cool tricks to show us. And remember, tricks and magic aren't real, but we're going to have some fun watching this and see what he has to say about the Holy Spirit. Scott the Magician, Apprentice Auditions, take one. Ow! Hello everyone and welcome to Scott the Magician's Apprentice Auditions. I'm Scott the Magician and this is my apprentice, Kayla, who's auditioning today. My last apprentice levitated off stage during one of my shows and has not returned to Earth yet. So luckily, I have Kayla who's willing to try out. How's it going? Good. All right, a person, a few words. So just so you know, uh, today you're going to uh, be my assistant and help me with some magic tricks. Remember that all the things that I'm going to show you are just tricks. And because you don't know how they're done, they are gonna absolutely blow your mind. Oh, okay, well there's a camera right there. 
So all you have to do is smile and listen to what I have to say. What do you think? Okay, this okay. is a bit awkward. Uh, let, let's get started uh, to make the magic happen. Okay, let's do this. For my first act, I'll make this light bulb light up without electricity. Sounds pretty hard, right? Yeah. Uh, normally light bulbs are easy to turn on. You know, you just flick a switch and... But today, we're gonna use our minds. Watch this. Whoa. <laughs> yes, indeed. That was a wow moment. Now it's your turn to try. All you have to do is hold on right here to the light bulb. Concentrate. Concentrate. <laughs> wow, um, that was awesome. I, I think you might have been focusing a little too much. Well, let, let's try it again, but, but this time, uh, try not to concentrate as much. No, I'm not doing that again. Oh, oh come on, I, I know you'll be able to light it up. Just, just, just turn it down by about 50%. Fine. Concentrate. Good. Kayla, you did it. Perfect. Now, it's time for a little segment I like to call Super Cool Awesome Magic Stuff. Check this out. Super Cool Awesome Magic Stuff. Watch closely. Normally, I do sleight of hand. Right now, I'm going to do sleight of shadow. Have you ever heard of that? Watch. Was that your card? Yeah, that's my card. Super Cool Awesome Magic Stuff. You know, now that I've been able to make the light turn on, here's another trick I wanted to show you. Check this out. Can I see? Sure. K Kayla, why'd you do that? I made it disappear, see? Uh, you did, didn't you? I, I don't think so. Look down. It's okay, Kayla. Uh, I'll take care of that. But you know, it actually reminds me of something that Jesus said. Jesus said he would be with us forever. You see, even after Jesus died on the cross, he still appeared to many disciples many times to show them that he was still alive. Jesus comforted and encouraged them. Okay, what does that have to do with the light in my stomach? Well, I I I'm getting there. So Jesus continued to guide and to help his disciples. Then after 40 days, Jesus was taken up to heaven. Okay, number one, I still don't get what this has to do with the light in here. And number two, how could Jesus be with us forever if he's in heaven? I'll answer your second question first. Jesus isn't with us like he was in the Bible times. We can't see him, but he sent the Holy Spirit to be with us. What's the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit isn't a thing. It's, it's a person. He's God. The Holy Spirit is the special helper that God gave us to give us strength to share his love with others and to make the right choices. He's always with us and he gives us power to live for God. That's why the light reminded me of that. It's not the Holy Spirit is the actual light that you swallowed, but it's always with us. Like the light would always be with you if I didn't fix it. Okay, I think I'm kind of getting it, but how will the Holy Spirit help me? Well, the Holy Spirit helps us in so many ways. The Holy Spirit comforts us when we're sad and shows us what to do when we don't know what to do. He gives us courage and strength to do what's right and to tell others about Jesus. Okay, the Holy Spirit actually sounds really cool. I knew about God and Jesus, but I didn't know the Holy Spirit would help me in so many different ways. And it's awesome that he's always with me. But, um, Scott the Magician, can you get the light out of me now? Uh, are you sure? I, I think you look kind of cool. You, you, you kind of remind me of Iron Man. I don't like it. Uh, all right, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So remember that the Holy Spirit is always with us and it gives us the power to live for God. Kayla, I think your audition is over. What do you think? Mm, it was good. Thanks for tuning in to Scott the Magician's Apprentice Auditions. We'll see you guys back here next week. So just like Scott said, Jesus is not with us here on earth anymore, but we have the Holy Spirit to guide us and to help us in tough decisions that we have to make. So I was thinking about that word guidance, and it made me think of this game that my kids play with our neighborhood friends. So this is what they do. They wait till it's dark, and then they take a, this flashlight, it's more like a lantern, they take this lantern and they put it on in the middle of our yard. And then what happens is one person is it, 
and that one person has to count to 10 covering their eyes. While that happens, everyone else scatters. And we can have up to like 10 kids playing this game. So everyone else scatters. And the goal is for after that person counts to 10, all the kids try to run back and touch this lantern. And that means they're safe. So you don't want to be the last person because then you're going to be it. And what that got me thinking about is this light. I want you to think of the Holy Spirit like this light. That light, when my kids are playing that game, it guides them back to where they need to be. And it, it gives them support and comfort because they know once they touch that, they're safe. And I want you to think of the Holy Spirit like that. The Holy Spirit is the light for you. The Holy Spirit is there for your life to guide you and to help you make tough decisions. Maybe you're out playing with some neighborhood friends and, and they make some choices that you know aren't very good. You know what? Say a quick prayer to God that the Holy Spirit would guide you and help you make the right decision. All right, so it's one more song we got. So let's stand up and sing. Great job singing. This week I want you to remember that the Holy Spirit is always with us and gives us the power to live for God. So let's end our time together in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the sacrifice you made. You care about our every hurt and our every need. You gave us the Holy Spirit so we can always be comforted and given guidance when we do not know what to do. Please help us to remember how you are always with us through the Holy Spirit and how we can always turn to you for help. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great week. We'll see you next time.